so this is going to be a real quick filler video. Um, I'll continue my media on drugs series uh, hopefully next week, or I'll at least add the next episode. Um, but while rereading parts of The Ego in His Own by Max Stirner, uh, a certain passage struck me as extremely intriguing. And so I'm going to read it. Uh, Stirner says, But as I keep my eye on myself and my selfishness, I take by the forelock the first good opportunity to trample the slaveholder into the dust, that I then become free from him and his whip is only the consequence of my antecedent egoism. Here one perhaps says I was free, even in the condition of slavery, to wit, intrinsically or inwardly, but intrinsically free is not really free, and inwardly is not outwardly. I was own, on the other hand, my own, altogether inwardly and outwardly. Under the dominion of a cruel master, my body is not free from the torments and lashes, but it is my bones that moan under the torture, my fibers that quiver under the blows, and I moan because my body moans. That I sigh and shiver proves that I have not yet lost myself, that I am still my own. My leg is not free from the master's stick, but it is my leg and is inseparable. Let him tear it off me and look at it and see if he still has my leg. He retains it in his hand, nothing but the corpse of my leg, which is as little as my leg as a dead dog is still a dog. A dog has a pulsing heart. A so-called dead dog has none and is therefore no longer a dog. So to me, Stirner seems to be suggesting that, unlike Sartre's conception of freedom as a state of mind, rather freedom is inseparable from the physical, that freedom is forever bound and tied with the corporeal, that even under the lashes of a whip, the, the pain caused by that strike is my pain. Even beaten by a baton, the anguish and suffering that I feel as a result is my anguish, is my pain. It is no one else's, and try as the authoritarian might, they can never take that away from me. They cannot because I own that pain. I own that suffering. I own that anguish. My pain, my suffering, my anguish, even brought about by a cruel master, is still under my ownership. I am not free from the pain of a whip, but that pain is still my pain. Despite cowering and shaking in fear of the cracking of the whip of a slave master, I shake and cower because I have not lost myself. Uh, and that was sort of my take. Um, now, of course, this all, pres uh, this all presupposes the idea that freedom and ownership are connected, and Sterner does go on to um, explain this connection, or in some ways disconnection, yet I still find this concept of freedom as radically different and extremely interesting.